Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to Let's Play King's Quest V. This, this was a pretty big deal when this came out because this was the first VGA game. VGA means that there's 256 colors compared to the 16 colors of the older games. It was also the first... There's purple. There's a Is lot of pink? there's there's a lot of different shades of pink and purple, so there's, so it, the graphics are very vibrant. So let's um, start this up. Okay, and um, Is it also blue? yep. This was also the very first game to have voice acting in it. Now well, the voice acting was not that great <laughs> because they they didn't really hire actors. They kind of just got the people that were working on the game to do the voices. So it was kind of iffy here and there, but it was the very first game to have any sort of speech or acting in it, so that in in itself have you was a big deal. Played King Quest V? Uh, let's see. I like his voice. Yeah, if we yeah. see how it, it it's a little bit new. You could tell that this was a very that speaking in games was very new at this time because this came out in nineteen ninety. Like, um, and before then no one no other games had speech I like in it. The Warning. This cartoon contains material yeah, that like may be too. necessary for information or clues to complete this game. Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. Alright, well we're gonna watch it because we wanna check get the story. I want to see this though. Does, <laughs> yeah, this, we're gonna watch it. Does this belong on this bobblehead? Yeah. The sword? That sword, yeah. That's what it is. Uh oh. It's, it's, it's not, Look at the castle damage. What's happening to it? It's like swirling. The water is swirling around it, and then there's thunder. And the wizard's casting a spell. Yeah, the wizard's casting a spell on the like castle. Tree. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad news. It looks like Graham wasn't home when it happened. He's just walking around. He's singing a song. That's how he sings. You think that's how he sings? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we get the nice Roland MT32 emulation as usual. We get the full effect of the music. Although I don't think this is the Roland. I think this is actually a pre-recorded song. No, the, the ones before this had only 16 colors. Yeah, that's like really good. This was really good for the time. No other game had graphics like this before this. He's your sidekick in this. He is the star of this. <laughs> you, I want to kiss him so badly. I thought I like his voice. <laughs> you did. Well then, what happened? That sounds like you, Uncle James. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. A poisonous shank. Well, an evil wizard more than I like him. Why does he have to be the best? Old friend? When I saw him materialize out of thin air, yeah, it does sound like you're acting like me. Mm, I oh, can do a Go on. He's got a monocle. He I like his face. He looks very smart like that monocle. He's wise. And he's adorable. He wants the wind to draw the candle up into the sky yeah. and out of sight. And he's adorably the awesome. Deal, right? Yeah, that's what he looks like. I think the, the voice of Graham is actually one of the designers of Space Quest. Why? Josh Mandel. Why would this wizard Mordak want my hand? <laughs> what could he have against me and my family? My that I don't know. Ooh, I only know that it was Mordak who took your me castle. And Ooh. your family. Family. Mm -hmm. And your family. Well, perhaps I can help you. My employer they took away the princess. Princess. Which is why I yeah. recognize Mordak. Is it his wife, his daughter, and his son were in the castle when it disappeared. So the whole royal family was captured. Except for Groot. Except for Groot. Well, listen, <laughs> listen to Cedric. He, he says that his friend, that his 
his employer Crispin can help him. Crispin is another is a good wizard. <laughs> okay, he's going. <laughs> Crispin. He's he's a good wizard. He's friends with with uh, Cedric the owl. You know, I noticed a lot in a lot of things where there's owls. Well, in a lot, there's a wizard friend of the owl. Come yep. on, up here. Oh, there he goes. I think that's that's from um, the once he's in a bad future flyer. king. The once in future king was the first to have Grandma's the, the wizard owl. Flyer. Wizard in the owl. He's swimming. He's not flying. Oh my god. Swimming in air. That, I would be good at that. <laughs> <laughs> like, be awesome. I would be like this. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like this. Okay, now we got better. <laughs> I'm so like an eagle. It's going to help him to learn how to swim. <laughs> this should be called the owl. <laughs> There's Crispin's house. Ooh, that's a nice little house. Where, where, so where? we're in a whole other country now. We're in the country here, of Serenia. Here. Of Owl Day. Okay. Serenia. It's all based on the once and future king, which is remember that cartoon sword in the stone was based on that book. For each of us, nice hot Merlin and his owl, Archimedes. Yeah. It's a reference to that. indoors it's in a picture frame. I don't know why. Always the Society of Wizards has always taken a dim view of Mordak and his abuse of his power. Why he's even been put on suspension a few times. It never seems to do any good though. Crispin, <laughs> why would Mordak want to take my family or castle? What did we ever do to him? I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that. Mordak is a very unpredictable wizard. I've never understood that evil mind of his. Oh, I thought perhaps you could help his majesty, Crispin. That boy had hurt him here. Well, let me see now. I used to be a very powerful wizard at one time, you know. But I've gotten a little rusty lately. Oh, a little rusty? 
That's quite enough for you. I don't know what I have that would be of much use to you. Most of my wizard stuff is pretty old and worn out. But let's see what I can find. I'm so old, I'm walking so slow. Is he dying this? Crispin? Yeah. I, I don't think so, no. My bones ache. Just, oh, I think it's frozen. There he goes. It's just kind of slow this game. No, that doesn't do. Oh my god. That's all used up. No, that one did. That's all used up. <laughs> it might work. Here, eat this. What is that? That's an old piece of magical white snake I had left over from last year. With it, you'll be able to communicate with the natural and animal world. You should find that quite helpful. So we can talk to animals now. While well, we're talking to Cedric, but he doesn't count. <laughs> Here's my old wand. I don't even know if it works anymore. Most of its power may be gone. You should know that wands are like pets. They've got to get to know you before they'll work for you. Just treat it with care and respect, and hopefully it will do something for you. You'd better get going, my boy. No telling what that confounded Morak could be up to. Confounded? You go with him, Cedric. Show him the way. Yes, you don't be such a coward. Now go on. So he becomes your sidekick. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate all you've done for me. He called you that coward? <laughs> yeah. Wow, I do not like that one. Neither do I. Please don't call me your majesty, Cedric. It's much too formal. I'd like it if you'd just call me Graham. Why be delighted to, Graham? Anyway, what will my coffee match? Oh, yes, the town. You might be able to find some supplies there. It's just over a little hill to the south, not too far. Well then, let's be on our way, Cedric. I brush good. Yay, now we get to play. I brush good. A small cellar door is located under the house. Impatiently, Cedric waits for Graham. So, if you notice, like, the last game, the other games were EGA. This is VGA. EGA is Cedric is too colors. busy looking around and doesn't seem to be paying any attention to Graham. Is the other one a touch game? Yeah, and this was also the first game to be point and click. What about um, Space Except for, no, actually, Maniac Manson was the first point and click game, but... But this was the first Sierra game to be point and click. Wait, kind of Maniac, slow. What do you mean by point? Maniac Mansion was another adventure game by LucasArts. What do you mean by point and click? Point and click, where you use the mouse instead of typing, the parser interface. Uh -huh. So this made it a little easier because there were a lot of problems. Oh, the best line in the game right here. Hey, watch out! A poisonous snake! A poisonous snake! <laughs> I don't know, that, that's one of the most quoted lines from this game. Cedric keeps his eye on Graham while perched on a nearby tree branch. <laughs> See how the path goes to the east up into the mountain? That's the room of the Mordax castle. Oh, so Mordax castle is up here. A large venomous snake blocks Graham's passage to the east. Maybe you can talk to him. Well, it's a large snake. Let's save. He's, he's no, blocking the awesome passage owl. to the east to awesome Mordax Castle. Awesome owl! Alright, next save I'll make awesome owl. In silence, the large serpent eyes Graham menacingly. I think we can just walk past him. That wasn't wise, Graham. He who speaks with forked tongue should never be trusted. <laughs> okay. Maybe so, we have to get something first. Like something well, he gave you a magical... Oh, no, you have to 
train with the magic wand. Well, let's look at it. The old wand doesn't seem to have any vitality left in it. So he's, it doesn't work anymore. Let's see if it works. Well, we can try it. Graham gives the wand a good shake, but it only fizzles and dies. Ah, it's broken. Yeah. All right, well, you said the town was down here, so let's check and out the town. Maybe it will work once we get used to it. Chris, and Chris said it needs to get to know each other. Yeah. Yeah. The quaint little town of Serenia nestles at the base of a great snow-capped mountain range which rises sharply to the east. Oh, I see the owl. Yeah. Cedric waits for Graham just outside the small town. Oh, yeah. All right, well, let's see if we can get supplies to the town. Cedric have to say. Woo! You might find something delicious. <laughs> I mean, useful there. Okay, so the town bakehouse is on this side. Well, let's go into the town first. Oh, because it's called the town bakehouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is nice. Look at this. A small tributary of the larger river hours an old water wheel as it flows through the town. Ooh. Secure within a small pen. A spotted cow quietly chews her cud. Come on, Graham. Don't waste your time with that cow. If you are going into town, I'll just wait for you here. I had a nasty run-in with a big dog once, and I feel much safer out here. Okay, Cedric. He said it in the beginning. I've played this game before, too. <laughs> Quaint houses and little shops line the town's main cobblestone street. While blocking an alleyway, a frustrated man fixes a broken wheel on his wagon. How goes it with you, good fellow? Not well, I'm afraid. This old wagon's always giving me trouble. Can I help you in any way? Thank you kindly, but I think I can handle it. All right then, good luck. Thanks. With this wagon, I'm gonna need it. You think we can help him? Yeah. What's this? Graham notices an old wooden barrel on the street corner. Look in the barrel. Inside the barrel, Graham sees an old rotting fish. Yes. Maybe it will work for magic. Inside the barrel, Graham. Right, I'll use that already. Let's take it. Oh, Graham leans way me. down into the barrel and <laughs> removes. Phew. You think he'll eat a fish? Like old fish. Smelly, rotting old fish. You think he'll eat it? Well, maybe it'll kill him. Phew. This smelly old fish is disgusting. <laughs> Phew. The town is busy with people going about their daily chores. He's got my he's got the same hat I got. Yeah. Good day. This guy over here. Well, except you have nice one. day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That looks like Nice day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That looks like a nice day. Hi, mister. <laughs> Hi, mister. <laughs> Taylor. Let's go to the A prosperous Taylor. looking tailor shop occupies the town's main corner. Okay. Wait, can we? Uh, well, we're the king, so they must give us a discount. Yeah, but I'm not the king of this country. May I help you, sir? Oh, yeah. They missed. The tailor, an aristocratic looking man, attends solicitously to Graham as he looks at all the wares in the tailor shop. At the back of the shop, Graham notices a dressing room in which a rude, finicky customer tries on many items of fine clothing. He's wearing only his underwear. An employee of the tailor, a friendly, good-looking guy, man, caters hopelessly to a disagreeable customer in the one dressing room. I'm interested in buying something here. Ah, let me show you some things. A fine piece of cloth. With this material, I can make you beautiful shirts. There isn't a more beautiful piece of fabric to be found anywhere. With this, I can make you the finest trousers you've ever had. The finest trousers you've well, ever had. 
What do you think? A cape. Well, right now I'm just looking. Thanks anyway. Yeah, there's something sticks out in this here, room. Here, here. Whatever you say, I'm just here to help. You can definitely tell that something sticks out in this room and is not part of the painted background. Right? I don't like this at all. Oh my god. The tailor shop bustles with activity as Graham looks around with interest at all the tailor's oh wares. <laughs> The young man is too busy with another customer to be bothered by Graham. Not wishing to be put through another speech about fine shirts and trousers, Graham wisely keeps his mouth shut. Uh, what do you think sticks out in this room? What? What do you think sticks out in this room? The key! Of course. In the corner of the shop, draped casually over a tailor's form, Graham sees a thick fur-lined cloak. Might cloak. come in handy, right? Here, let me help you with that. On a long journey, it's good to have a cape. Yeah. Oh, that cloak fits you perfectly. <laughs> it just looks wonderful on you. Let me tell you, <laughs> it will certainly keep you toasty warm during the coming winter. Oh my god. Let me know if you wish to buy it. <laughs> he wants you to buy everything. Yeah. Wait, I didn't see him in the cape. Try it again. It's a fine uh, cloak. It can be Talk very to useful to a traveler like yourself. I was thinking of buying the cake. Not wishing to be put through another. Not wish. Uh, I don't have anything to pay him with. I could give him a rotting fish. The tailor wouldn't find that suitable for his business. The wand. <laughs> Think I want the magic wand, a broken magic wand? Graham gives the wand a good shake, but it only fizzles and dies. Nope. <laughs> It's a fine cloak. Uh, I can't get it yet. We'll have to come back here when we get to Why? It. These trousers don't even fit. Oh my god. You're mean, you know that? Leave them alone. The rude customer doesn't care to talk to Graham. Alright. Leave them be. We'll come back when we got some money. Of course nothing will fit him. He's too fat. He's too fat. Toys. Toy shop. <laughs> so let's go toy. Well, Graham is a very prestigious king, so I'm sure. Come on in, look around. Let me know if you're interested in anything. I like to be a good Santa. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's and a he's toy a maker. toy maker. The yeah. punk old toy maker, who seems a jolly sort, carefully mends a toy while sitting comfortably behind jolly. the counter. <laughs> the shipment of carving wood hasn't come in yet. What should we do? If it's not in by tomorrow, I'll send you to the sawmill. Okay, Papa? <laughs> a pretty little girl, who must be the toy maker's granddaughter, oh. plays with a doll while Grandfather looks on. Yeah, my darling. I clicked it by mistake. What? I clicked the right button. Can I keep this doll? I really like her. <laughs> She's kind of like what? Now, consider you know these toys are for sale for other kinder. Besides, you've got kinder. plenty of dolls. You can play mid air, but just be careful. Alright, Grandpa. I'll take care of like her. He's wearing a fishbowl. Do you want to switch now? Yeah. 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 But you know, like Santa. Yeah. Wait, why did he say over Love the yard? Won't I do? Won't I do? He's got a like Are a of these toys Austrian your accent. Yeah, or German. Most of them. Yeah. But not all. Yeah. yeah. Some because Kinder is German. Some for I bought. <laughs> and some I traded for. Gordon is German for meatloaf. Very talented. Meatloaf made of Dunka, kids. Dunka, Dunka. <laughs> well, let me know if I can help you. The little girl is more interested in her doll. She pays no attention to Graham. A pretty little girl. A child's wonderland of toys fills this quaint little toy shop. Is that really exciting? A pet goldfish swims endlessly around <laughs> in his fishbowl. Well, back then, the toy sh they didn't have Toys R Us, so this was the best toy shop you could get. And it's not Apparently, the toy maker's son, is working out. in I the back room, is learning the, the toy business from his father. I don't know why, but... The sled? 
Alright, this sled does pop out of it. a strong little sled hanging on a side wall. I think it's important. I think that's important. Yeah. That's a fine sled, isn't it? But we don't Any have any child would love to have it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was just admiring the workmanship. Donka, if you'd like to buy it, let me know. Wait, do you need the sled in it? I think we do. But I don't I have any money. The little sled has captured Graham's interest. Need, need the cloak? Not wanting to bother the toy maker again. Alright, so let's go. How we'll do you get money. money? I don't know. We're gonna have to find some, I guess. But you said you played this mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I... I kind of remember. Look at... See anything flashing on the ground? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what that is. Graham notices a shiny silver coin lying <gasps> forgotten on the there street. There we go. There's near the broken it. wagon. So, I think we'll need the sled more. Okay. Well, let's check the other shop before we buy anything. There might be something there. Too. Bending down, Graham quickly shop? retrieves the silver coin from the street. The Wait, which here. one is... Where's the... Which one is better? Shoe shop. Oh, Nearly man. hidden at the end of the Maybe street we'll sits a small shoe shop. <laughs> Why would we lose our Why shoes? Why would we lose our shoes? <laughs> Maybe we'll jump ahead of them, right? Why well, we'll can't so fast? Which one would we need more of a cloak? Donkey! Take a look around if you want, but we don't have any shoes to sell you right now. Oh my god! We Why sold our dog? last finished pair yesterday. Yeah. Can we buy your dog? Our business ain't doing so good anymore, and we're getting too old to keep trying. Maybe if we give Is there anything I can do to help? The there ain't nothing you can do short of buying us out. But like I said, if you want to look around, feel free. Oh, they're very poor. Okay. They Thanks. don't even have any shoes. So. Why don't we give them money? What's that? It's our this only coin, seem though. To be so good for the what? shoemaker and his wife. Well, there is isn't even we'll one pair of shoes for something. sale, and the old couple look no, tired yeah, and poor. worn out. Well, how much do we have? We got we got one coin. It is but a common silver coin. That's all we got is one. I guess we could give it to him. To How about we save old shoemaker, eyes squinted and fingers calloused from years of making shoes, drives tiny nails into a shoe sole with a small cobbler's hammer. The shoemaker's wife, looking haggard and worn, tiredly stitches away at a large piece of shoe leather. A skinny old dog lies down on the hard floor of the shoe shop. Give him, give the dog the fishy. Ew, why would you want to torture a dog? You don't have any shoes he's, for sale, huh? He's hungry. That's right. No shoes at all. We're making a pair right now, but it'll take a while. We're not as fast as we used to be. Oh, that's okay. My own boots should carry me through the rest of my journey. Mm -hmm. uh, Sorry, son. We're doing the best we can. A fish. Just, just no, give them a fish, no. maybe <laughs> give him the money? Uh-huh. The shoemaker isn't even paying any attention to Graham. Okay. The weary old woman has no interest in it. Go try the fish. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> the dog doesn't even lift his head to take notice of it. The weary old woman has no interest in it. <laughs> The old dog pays no attention to Graham. Now do the band. Can we pet him? This old dog doesn't appeal to Graham. Aww. There's nothing to do. Alright, so I guess we, we have a coin. What do you think we should get? Should we get the sled? Should we get the cloak? Sled! 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 sled? No, the, the cloak. Okay. I think you'll probably... Samantha, you have, you have to break the tie. Sled or cloak? Oh. Both. The sled is closer, so let's let's see. And we also saved. Come on in, look around. And then you'll probably leave for walking. Deep no, you'll probably. Yeah, only to spread down. Can I buy the sled with a silver coin? Nine. I'm sorry. I, I I'd love to sell it to you, but I'm afraid I need a bit more than that. Oh, okay. Then we'll go get the cloak. Okay. 
guessing the cloak is gonna be more because the cloak is actually really pretty. Yeah. Maybe we'll find more coins. Man, help you there. I would like to buy that fine cloak hanging in the corner. Will you take a silver coin for it? A silver coin? You must be joking. That beautiful cloak is worth much more than that. I told ya. <laughs> okay. Maybe you could buy the fat man. I'll have man. to find more money. Can you buy, buy the, the fat, fat man? man? Nah, I don't want the fat man. <laughs> I don't think there's anything on this side. Wait, I saw something near the bill. We already got it. That was the coin. You saw something else? Yeah, there's nothing over there. No, I thought I saw something blinking. That was the coin, but we got it already. The inside of the barrel is now quite empty. The cart is too heavy for Graham to move by himself. Maybe you can walk past it. A broken wagon blocks access to a Maybe small side street. Or you could pretend you're poor you and someone would give you a million dollars. <laughs> Okay. Well, we can still go to the bake house. Oh, Ooh, if you follow this road along the river, you'll come to the town bake house. You might find something delicious. <laughs> I mean, useful there. Useful. Useful there. I think you want, I think that yeah, uh, we should do those to the shoe, the shoe people. <laughs> what? A bake? Bake house? Something? Yeah, something. <laughs> Something from there. It's the Baker Brothers Bakehouse. With a fine view of the rushing river, the bakehouse sits a bit out of town, along an old rutted road. Graham spies a huge pile of logs to fuel the bakehouse ovens. Can we get one? No. Just go. Just go inside. All right. Maybe it's something called 4D. Maybe it's something called 4D. <laughs> Smell-o-vision. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and how is your poor dear mother doing, William? Oh, she hasn't been doing too well lately. But my brother and I help out whenever we can. Thanks for asking, Amanda. Austin, keep your fingers out of that pie. The pies look lovely. I think I'll take one. Yes. They were just made fresh this morning. I think Here that's the go. voice of Roberta Williams. I think she did the voice. Yes, this will be a fine dessert She's for our She's the one that tonight. created all these games. Let's go home, Austin. Look, we can actually do stuff while they're walking. The little boy looks all dressed up for some special occasion. The lady appears to be in a real hurry as she walks briskly past Graham. What's your name? My name is Austin. I'm here with my mama. We're buying a pie for dinner tonight. That's nice. Good day, madam. That pie looks awfully good. Ah, oh, yes. My family will enjoy it, I'm sure. <laughs> Are they rich? Seems like it. Yeah, looks like, looks the like fish! Good. The cat! <gasps> Here's the last of the pies. Excellent. Welcome to our bakehouse, Traveler. Of course, all of our wares are wonderful, but today we've got a special on custard pies. Just one silver coin each, but Ooh. take your time. That's what we Let have. Let me know when you're ready. Give the rotten thing to the cat. Cats love fish. The Baker brothers seem to have a yeah. pet, a large, mangy cat. The cat doesn't appear to like Graham, much less answer him. The cat is much too lazy to care about it. Yeah, get them. Mmm, the wonderful smells of the bakehouse set Graham's stomach to rumbling and his mouth watering. Delicious mouth-watering custard pies lining the tables and countertop attract Graham's eyes and nose. In the kitchen of the bakehouse, Graham can see another big burly man doing the day's baking. The baker, a large sturdy fellow, waits for customers behind a pie-covered counter. Large, sturdy fellow. Everything looks so delicious, it's hard to decide what to buy. <laughs> Everybody has that problem, but 
What a problem to have. Those custard pies look oh. most delicious. I think the only thing we yes, can afford is the custard a pie. Handed down from our dear mama yes, and her mama pie. before her. Hmm, it's still hard to decide though. Custard. Just well, take your toys. time. There's no hurry. Take your time. There's no hurry, Jake. <laughs> Just buy the custard pie. <sighs> What's this the say? baker's brother is too busy to chat with Grant. Oh, I thought it was a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Sir, yeah. I would like to purchase one of your custard pies. These pies cost one silver coin each. I've got it right here. Here you go. I hope you enjoy your custard pie. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I will. They probably Isn't met. Graham such a nice guy even when his family's been kidnapped? He's, he still well, acts he's so a nice. He's a pretty yeah. prestigious yeah. <laughs> kid. Alright, so we got Off the custard pie. Pie looks delicious. Can I eat it now? Let's see. Mmm. That was the best custard pie Graham has ever eaten. But now we don't have the custard pie. Maybe we shouldn't have eaten it. He saved. <laughs> Alright. You still have the pie. <laughs> Give the custard pie to the people. <laughs> no, nah, I don't what? Yeah, they're what you mean the starving people, like the uh, yeah. the poor people. Yeah. They don't have anything mm. to give us. Does it matter? Yeah, he's you do you do you do nice things before. I know. Maybe in another time they'll repeat. It's not really bad. Maybe they're done with their shoes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's see what happens. But we'll give it a shot. First. Save. That's alright, I just saved. See how smart I am? Jake, I came up with that idea. <laughs> no, I came up with the idea to give it to them. No, I did. <laughs> you came up with an idea to give them something. She came up with it. You wanted to give them the rotten fish. We still don't have any Jake, food for sale. You wanted to give them the rotten fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at night. The weary old woman has no interest in nah, it. it. looks like they don't want it. The shoemaker isn't even paying any attention I think what they need, they need is something valuable that they can sell and retire with. Yeah. So. $89? <laughs> <laughs> I think they need more than $89. But they, $80,000? They don't use dollars in this time. They use silver coins and gold 80, coins. Silver and gold. Wait, wait. $89,000. Wait, wait. Shush. Eighty-nine thousand million coins. <laughs> do they do that? Do you know what we have to give them? Think they need um silver and gold decorations. We can sell it. Christmas I think what they need is something like uh shoes, right? Like a nice pair of shoes what that they could that? sell. Well, they're shoemakers. Why don't they make shoes for themselves? Because they they're getting old and they're, they're not as quick as they no, used to be. let's go in there. It's the Swarthy Hog Inn. Weary travelers can enter through the inn's front door. Let's go in. Okay. Oh, it's an Ooh, inn. I'll wait for you out here. And welcome. Oh, mind that, please. Cedric never likes going into places. Why? He's a coward. Hey. <laughs> Doggy. Graham notices three rough-looking men huddle over the bar in serious conversation. Since they're talking in such low tones, Graham can't quite hear what they're saying. A flea-bitten old dog lies asleep in the corner. The country inn's tavern looks a bit shabby and run down. At the bar, Graham notices three men. All right. Pet the dog. The dog is just out of Graham's reach. You know that job we pulled yesterday? Where's the rest of the loot, huh? I think one of you guys is holding out on me. They're thieves. Gentlemen, please excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh-oh. I like his stomach. <laughs> He's a fat guy. Diana's full. Ain't got no more rooms. Hey, boss! This guy looks 
like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? Rub him out. Oh. Struggle as he might, Graham could not escape his bond. I don't think so. Don't worry, Graham. The innkeeper will soon put you out of your misery. They're not nice people, huh? Maybe we shouldn't go in there. Yeah, we'll avoid that place. How about we call it an out? <laughs> not an in, it's an out. Okay. Yeah, it's an out. <laughs> we call that place an out. That's why he, that owl did not want to go in. <laughs> yep. I do not play them. <laughs> A large haystack dominates the area in front of the barn. Jump in the haystack and play! Yeah! <laughs> There's another door. Uh, yeah, we'll check it out. Carefully, Graham searches through the haystack, but doesn't see anything of importance. This is a side entrance of the quaint country inn. Couldn't even find a needle in the haystack. Usually something hidden, a needle hidden in a haystack. The side door is locked. An old, uninteresting barn is located behind the country inn. Go in! Graham can see an unbreakable padlock on the barn door. Let's just keep following the path until we Do they have bathrooms in this game? Uh, not in this one. Space Quest 2 had a bathroom though, remember? Ah! Woo, what happened to the bear, Graham? Ooh, a bear. A large bear seems to be very interested in the honey inside the old tree. A swarm of bees Fish. buzz around Fish. a hole well, in the bottom Fish. of the tree. Watch out for the bear, Graham! Cedric seems to be contemplating their current situation, and so he's not inclined to indulge in conversation right now. Oh, well, you think he'll want the, the custard pie? <laughs> All right. Let's talk to the, the bear. bear. Is too intent on the honey to listen to Graham. Let's pet the bear. Graham should be very careful around a big old bear. So what should we do about this bear? Should we just... Custard pie. Please! Graham notices a large stick lying on the ground near the old tree. But there's please, a stick. Please, please. There's a stick here. I should take it. You should have... Nope. Swing by the bear. Custard pie. Tisk, tisk. <laughs> All right. Maybe. So we'll give him the custard pie. No, the fish. The custard pie. The fish. Pie is the fish? All right, the fish. Honey. A honeycomb. Hopefully they won't sting us. Graham reaches a hand into the beehive and retrieves a very sticky chunk of honeycomb. Yeah. Wrapping it in a protective piece of cloth, he then pockets it. Graham bends down and picks up the large stick from the ground. Now we've got a nice piece of honeycomb. Honey drips at the edges of the honeycomb chunk. It appears to be an average stick of wood. And a stick. A good old stick. What would a stick be good for? Everybody likes to poke people Oh, sticks. there's nothing but the hot dry deserts on the west. Most people avoid it because there are bandits out there. Oh, if you insist on going, I'll wait for you here. No! God. So there's a hot 
hot, dry desert. The scraggly bushes of the dry brushland taper off to a hot, sandy desert as far as the eye can see to the west. To the east, Graham can see the sparse edge of Serenius Woods. No, it's okay. It's okay. Sure? I know, I know, I know. Nothing can hurt us. We always we can save game, remember? We'll just explore I the desert. I wish we could actually save our real life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> save I would call everything awesome owl. When would you save though? Before. If you could only save once, where would you save in your life? Before. Well, I, I always wanted to, uh, what it feel to die, like by holding your breath. Mm. So I would save it. A small oasis. It's tantalizing water, so sparkling in the desert sun. I think those Gray and hot, thirsty body is irresistibly I drawn would do it right before I die. Yeah, they don't know, like, uh, Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. <laughs> I, I always think of cattles when I see oasis. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> water. I remember this desert correctly. There's something down here. Don't die. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good, it's, uh, it's a good tip. I remember mapping this whole desert out the first time I played, and I think there was an oasis, and then you go down and to the left. Uh, it's your pants. Maybe I'm wrong. Do you want to go? Oh, here's another oasis. The hot sun and choking sands are taking their toll on Graham. Stuff? He must drink, and soon, okay, a oasis. small oasis. It's tantalizing water. So sparkling in the desert sun, Graham's hot, thirsty body is irresistibly drawn to it. Ah, life-giving water, nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Every time I drink water when I'm thirsty now, I go, ah, life-giving water, nectar of the gods. That makes you thirsty, right? You want to get water? Yeah. Oh, no, we're going to get a snack. Okay. Not water. <laughs> Wandering aimlessly through the desert. I kind of remember something being around here. Might have to look online at a map though, because yes, I think I will have to do that. Uh oh. Too late. Graham collapses and dies of extreme thirst in the hot desert sun. If only he could have found an oasis. Dying for a drink, Graham? 